Okay, so for this video, I'm starting about the APR. So here's a question. Uh, we're going to solve this question. It says, you're a personal finance expert advising three clients. Angela, who must choose between two payday loans, each for $3,000 in 14 days. So we got loan A with a finance charge of $100, payable at the end of the 14 day, and loan B with a finance charge of $90 deducted from the principal balance at the start of the loan. So we've got another client, Asan, who must decide between two credit cards, Cat C with a 2.5% monthly charge, and Cat D. 7.1% quarterly charge. Antonio wants to identify a better investment. Here is a total client for his $50,000 for five years investment, E paying an APR of 10.6% compounded semi annually and investment F with an effective interest rate of 11% compounded monthly. So the first question is, how would you advise the first two clients, Angela and Asen, based on their investment choice? We've got another question. Find the annual percentage uh, rate for Antonio. So let's start with the first question. And uh, we obviously have to start with what we know. So what do we know? Okay, so let's start by calculating the EPR uh, for loan. <clears throat> for loan A, let's see how we calculate the EPR. Also for the periodic uh, interest rates. will be given by at the hundred dollar divided by the three thousand dollar that will be three point three three percent right for fourteen days right so so the APR the APR is going to be given by 3.33 percent obviously divided by 14 times for one year for one year, so 365, right? And this is going to give us it's a six, uh, it's 6.9 percent. Okay, so this is for loan A. So for loan B. Balloon B, let's see what it gives us. Uh, similarly, we find the financial charge for 14 days, uh, which is uh, $90. And uh, they are finding the amount financed, which is from the question $2,910. The periodic rate, right? Periodic uh, interest rates. So periodic interest rates will be will be ninety. 
that ninety dollar divided by two thousand hundred and ten, right? Which gives us about three point zero nine three. Right? Uh oh guys to give the error. Okay, so so we've completed loan A. Um uh, and then loan B three point nine zero. 93 uh, percent. Yes, so the APR for loan B, let's go here. So the APR for the loan B will be giving us the three point zero nine three percent three percent right all divided by fourteen times the one year so three hundred and sixty five days it's the assumption and then this will give us say eighty point uh, six three percent. Right? So we go for here is fourteen. So we can easily see that the loan the loan A is way higher. Okay, so the investment would make sense. The APR of loan A is way higher. So we can advise our first client to go with the first investment. Okay, so in the case of uh, in the case of Asan, it's you we're gonna try to advise him based on card D or card C. So for card Okay, for cut D. Or for this, let's do cut D before we go to cut C, okay? The, the APR Simply the period rate seven point one percent. So all over three, right? And this gives us exactly. Uh, Exactly thirty percent. Okay, and for card for cut C, what do we have for cut C from the question? So the APR for card C will be. will be two uh, two point five percent right so divided by okay so that this will be uh do the calculation correctly this should give us Thirty percent. Okay, so 
this this actually isn't uh let's make some corrections here this this is actually 28.4 percent okay so that was an error 28.4 percent to the 8.4 percent so cat c gave us uh 30 percent okay so we can advise the client to go ahead and make the investment as regards to card c okay now we can finally attend to the last client so to calculate the annual APR for the third client we need to find out the APR for the investment F to make the comparison okay so the APR The formula we're going to use here is the APR minus the investment. Minus the investment F. Okay. And this will be equal to 12 times uh i'm gonna have two brackets here two brackets here one i have one plus uh eleven percent all raised to Or raise to the power of one divided by twelve, right? And everything minus one, and we close the brackets. Okay, so this will give us about ten. Four eight percent. And that will be the end of the solution. So we can have a better idea on how to advise those uh, three clients. Okay.